everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews. I'm Richard as you know and today we're taking the car out for a drive. We've got a lovely sunny day, quite rare in the UK especially in springtime so hopefully this is depicting that summer's, on, summer's along the way. It's a good time to give you an update on how the repair is going on the screen issues that I've been having um, with the right hand screen of the 45A. For those who, have, who haven't seen part one, the issue that I've been having is that if you drive the car for a period of time then the right hand screen is functioning no problems whatsoever and for that particular duration of that journey there's no issue with the right hand screen but if you stop um, more often than not when you restart the car or when you turn the ignition back on again the right hand screen is locked and you can always tell when it's locked because it goes into a because because it shows a bizarre screen layout um, as you can see here whereby the Type the text box that shows the time has a white and blue almost like a white and blue flag um, coloring in it so I've come to learn that when those colors are there replacing the time display then I know that the screen is locked now the car's gone back to Dick Lovett to have the to have the work performed they've had the car for approximately three weeks um, during that time they performed the full assessment of the problem um, first of all you know they've been liaising with Ferrari as well in, in, in Italy and in America and their first solution to try and resolve the problem was to replace the LVDS cable which is the cable that connects to the actual screen binnacle system um, I believe this is an optical cable it's a low voltage cable and um, I believe it's optical in the way it delivers its information and it's quite easy to see that an optical cable can get easily damaged through stress fracture and thereby prevent it from delivering the information so it's a logical reason to think that the LVDS cable could have failed so initially they replaced the LVDS cable unfortunately that did resolve the problem the error came back straight away thankfully while they had the car so what they had to do was order a whole new screen binnacle um, from Ferrari they had to procure the screen unit from Italy because Maranello and Egham do not stock those units they don't stock units in general for 458s they stock units and parts for cars from the 355 and earlier so they had to procure the unit from Italy and they had to take the data off my existing screen binnacle send that to Italy so that they could then flow that information onto the new screen binnacle and then the screen binnacle had to be delivered to Dick Lovett Ferrari fortunately that didn't take too long it took them about a week to to um, push my firmware to push my updates if, if you like onto the new screen binnacle and then they sent it to they then sent it to Dick Lovitz. Dick Lovitz received the unit and then they, they fitted the unit within a couple of days. So it was very quick for them to install the unit. They did some initial tests and to their perception, the fault was resolved. But unfortunately, when the car was delivered back to me, I put it straight back into storage because the car was sawn and because the weather wasn't very good. I only got the car out at the week, weekend and we took it out for the first, for the first drive of 2022. And unfortunately, the error's still there. <laughs> Um, so it's just unfortunate that the error never occurred while it was on the test drive with Dick Lovett. It's just one of those things. I've relayed this information back to Dick Lovett and Dick Lovett's are going to liaise with Ferrari in North America um, to try and see what the next steps are. Clearly, you know, this, this is just one of those problems. Um, fair play to, to Dick Lovett. They've really been tenacious about this. There's been no cost to myself substantial cost to Dick Lovitz because I know these screen binnacles in themselves cost quite a few thousand pounds so thank you Dick Lovitz for looking after me and um, hopefully this situation will be resolved in the near future it's not a real game changer with regards to the car obviously it needs to be repaired and it's a pain in the ass that it isn't repaired yet but it is what it is I'm philosophical about it and Dick Lovitz have been very tenacious in trying to resolve it at no cost to myself so you know, I've got no cause to complain really to be honest um, and I'm sure it will be resolved in the near future so there will be a part three <laughs> hopefully when it's fully resolved and I tell you the end solution to the problem it's going to be very interesting to know what the actual end solution is because it's been quite a tricky problem but uh, these things happen
we're just coming to our destination here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in part three.